were at Saxwakuman, and I probably didn't pronounce it right, but that's the best I can do. <laughs> so I'm just walking around, and there's nice energy here. It's kind of a eucalyptus forest as you come up. It's quite the hike to get up here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find a few important things while I'm here today. Um, have my voice back, feeling better, just doing a check-in. And, you know, this is an interesting sight. We'll see what we come across. We'll see what it feels like. the sites through Cusco and I've been or through Peru uh, like I've been around Cusco but I was up Sacred Valley at a lot of the sites when the conquistadors <laughs> when the Catholics came in all they did was build on top of pre-existing sacred sites so some of the oldest churches out there uh, the church is actually built on top and they call it Inca, but it was pre-Inca. Um, <laughs> built on top of uh, ancient structure, ancient sacred space. So like I'm looking across from me here and I'll see if I can take a picture, but I don't think I'm gonna go over there. Uh, we have Jesus, the savior, out on the, on the pinnacle of the site. I'll get a picture of that. And now I'll get a picture of this beautiful stone up here. See you way out. There's, but more importantly, check out this stone, it's wild.
Well, I mean, we see them on TV and they're cool there. <laughs> it's not until you really get close to them that you kind of get a feel for what they are. Yeah, it's quite an amazing place. Next time, you'll have to come with me. Here, meditating in this space, I get a lot of heart energy. A lot of heart energy here. I was just sitting on one of those stones there. And I could smell that cow up there. There's two of them. Look at this. So the name of this is Saksa Uma. Quechua is a very onomatopoeic language. In Quechua, whatever you make the sound, you try to match with the meaning of it, mm. perhaps. If I am cold and I am say I'm shaking, I say katatashang, katatashang. Mm. If you say something that is vibrating like a flag or something, you say unanchi rapapapashan. Oh, so it's wow. <laughs> okay. So if this is true for many other things, here we have the word Sag, Sag, Uma. Sag, Sag is the beat of the heart. Sag, Sag, Seastole and Diastole. And Uma, head. The two main organs that rules any higher being, biologically. See the difference in the stonework.
So this stone that I'm on and this big rock that we've been circling around is one of those unexplained mysteries. You can see <laughs> the stairs that go in every direction. And the ones above me are upside down. And this piece that I'm sitting on is broken off from the main stone that's just in front of me here. So in this main stone in front of me, there's this wonderful little cave down here. I'm wondering where it goes. And as I was observing it, I saw next to this fortress, a stone that measured, and it was 270 palms of my own in diameter and so high that it seemed that it had been born there. And all the Indians say that this stone was tired in that place and they could not move it any further from there. And certainly if it were not seen in itself to have been carved, I would not believe it. Even if they assured me that the strength of the men would be enough to put it there, where it will be a testimony of what the inventors of such a great work were. It really looks like a ceremonial space in here. It's kind of like a little amphitheater. And this uh, rock in the background is the center of that amphitheater. The fourth and last of the masters was called Kalakunche. At this time, they brought the tired stone, to which the master gave his name so that his memory would be preserved, whose greatness, like that of the others, is incredible. It is on the plain before the fortress. The Indians say that from the great work he went through on the road until he got there, he got tired and cried blood, and that he could not reach the building. Got these incredible, perfectly round little cutouts that look like they've been machined all over it. So I'm on top of it now. I did a little climb. I came up here to uh, do an offering, but I'm going to sit here for a minute and meditate before I do that, just to see what I feel.
the workmanship on these stones, the size of them, the way they fit together, you know, the uniform shape, thickness of the wall, it's incredible. And comparing that to all the other things I've seen out here, you know, it's pretty unmistakable that these are different people doing the work. videos of these places and they seem quite cool but it's quite different to actually be with them and experience them. This is a neat little place here. Thank you. 